Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma and today I will be talking to you about some tips which will help you in moving from manual testing to automation testing. These tips are based upon my own experiences which I have collected over a period of time so that it will help you. So let's get started. First one, as a tester you must know all about testing fundamentals, what are the traditional models we have like waterfall model, V model and now we are progressing towards agile. So you must know about agile methodologies and the scrum guidelines. There are new scrum guidelines which has come into place in November 2020. So you have to have an understanding of all that. Apart from that, you must also know about test design techniques, defect management tool, test management tool and if any matrix is to be used in your company. You must be aware of all these. This is the fundamental of being a software tester. You must know everything in order to be an automation engineer. So now let's talk about how you can be an automation engineer. In order to be an automation engineer, you must know one programming language. You can pick either Java or Python. It's up to you. It's your choice. If you are picking Java, you can start referring one channel on YouTube because there are many channels available today in the market. So you can pick one channel and start practicing towards your uh, programming language. You can do a setup on your machine and then start learning day by day. That will improve your confidence and you will feel better in the programming environment. Now, let's talk about web automation tool. There is very famous tool in place which is Selenium web automation free source tool which you can download and start using immediately. So you can Again, you can start practicing the tool day by day on daily basis. It will take minimum three months for you to fully understand the tool and to fully understand all the concepts like how do you identify elements, how, what is object repository, what are the different tests, uh, what are the different uh, strategies to locate an element, what are the different classes, what are the action classes, how do you select a dropdown, how to swipe and select a dropdown. So all this will be cons all this will be included in Selenium. So once you refer one channel, I would personally suggest you to refer one channel instead of two because when we focus on more than two channels, we lose our concentration. So it's better to stick with one to have full understanding of the tutor. And if you are able to relate with the tutor, what he's saying, then one channel is sufficient. Trust me, one channel is sufficient. Second, you must know also about TDD and BDD approaches. For TDD, we have TestNG and for BDD, we have Cucumber. So you must know about this as well. Also, you must know what is a pipeline, what is CICD, continuous integration and continuous development. What are the tools available for CICD? We have Jenkins, we have AWS CodeBuild, which we are currently using in my organization. It's a very good tool. So you must know one tool for CICD. Then you should also know about test management tools. We have different test management tools available like X-Ray, um, Jira, TestRail and Microsoft TFS Test Foundation Server. There may be many more, but I'm not aware of all that. So this you can learn. Last but not the least, you must decide yourself what you want in your career. If you want to move ahead as an automation engineer, these are the set of points which I've told you. You can start working from today and within six months you will be confident and you can definitely go into automation. My best wishes are with you. Wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you so much for listening to me. Apart from that, just one thing. If you have any doubts related to Java, if you want any links related to Java and Selenium links, you can comment below or you can approach me on LinkedIn. I will try to help you. Thank you so much guys. Bye bye.